Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. I had a subscriber or a viewer write in and ask if I could uh, do a little video on how to upload videos to YouTube. Now, I've got uh, a camera. It's one of those flip handy cam cameras. And I can't show you the camera because I'm using it, but I can show you a picture of it on the box. There it is, right there. And that's what it is. Now this camera is, uh, there it is, can you all see that? Uh, this camera I think is about four years old. But when you get your camera, you usually get, uh, let me just see if I can find it, a little uh, software little disc, it's in here somewhere, there it is, a little disc that you load onto your computer so that then your computer will accept the videos and everything. Now my video uh, camera also with the software, it will load it into my documents, the, the videos that I do. So this morning for the smoothie video, I've already loaded it onto the computer uh, you just you know connect my camera to the computer and it automatically will upload it to the computer now in uh, there might be some cameras now that you can upload directly um, to YouTube I'm not sure how all that works I can only tell you what I know what works in my case but um, the uh, video loads from of course the camera onto your computer and so it puts it in your document somewhere so then I'll, t I'll pick it up from where we go to YouTube so alright hold on a second let me get the camera turned around okay we'll start like this this is where my camera uh, loaded the video onto my computer and this is it's just called PMB so there's the video and two pictures and um, this picture is probably the one I'm going to use for the thumbnail so it, it loads it all together alright so now we're going to come out of that by just Xing it out and then we're going to go to the internet now I just use Google I don't use Google Chrome but so we're going to click on and get on the internet so there we are at Google and in my case, I can just go right up here, that little icon, and it'll show me YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube. And then, there we are, we're on YouTube. And then I'm going to click on my channel right there. Oh, no, wrong one. Go up here. I want to click on the channel. There. All right, so there's my channel. And this is what I see now. If y'all click on my channel, you, I don't think you see the same thing that I see. But we're going to wait for that to load up. And so far it's not loaded yet. But anyway, what we're going to do then, say so we, we have to get on YouTube first. And then we have to go where it says upload. And uh, now I'm a YouTube partner. And, uh, of course, if you're a YouTube partner, you already know how to do this. But uh, you do, of course, have to join YouTube in order to be able to upload, of course. So now I'm going to go up here where it says Upload. I'm just going to hit Upload. And then we're going to get this, which is going to say Select File to Upload. And you do have to wait till you get that red around it. That means it's connected. All right, so I'm going to click on that. And when I click on that... It's going to go directly to my document file on my computer. So watch this. Click on it. And that's my files and everything to do with my computer. So I'm going to go over here to where it says videos. And I'm going to click on that. And then there are my videos. So then I have to go down and find the date because mine are file by date. So we're going to go all the way down to August. And of course, I've got 2013 and 14 are kind of all in here together. So we're going to go down till we get to today's date, which is August 28th. 
and there's the file right there. Now this file was created this morning too because I had not deleted yesterday's video from my camera so it just uploaded it again so I had to just upload it again. But anyway, so from your camera this of course has loaded onto my computer into my documents and uh, YouTube automatically takes you there. You don't have to go there on your own. It'll automatically put this screen up because see I'm still on YouTube. Alright, so I'm going to click on that. Then it's going to show me, <clears throat> excuse me, what's in that file. And so I know that this is the video just because of those little things on the side and then I know these are pictures and I'm going to use one of these as a thumbnail. Probably this one right here showing the grandma molasses jar. So I'm going to click on the video, double, just click on it to open it. Then I'm going to come down here and it says open. All right, now we're back to YouTube and YouTube is telling me that the upload, they're getting ready to upload. It's 1% uploaded already. I'm just going to click off that right there so I can see. All right, you see there it says it's got eight minutes remaining to upload. <clears throat> now, because I'm a partner, I can monetize mine. So I'm going to click on monetization and I'm going to tell it yes. Go ahead and put an ad on there. Then I'm going to go back to basics and now I've got to put my description in right there. Now you don't have to do any of that, but it, you certainly are a lot better off with a title and description. So I'm going to just, uh, what I'm doing is just taking that out, that number out, and I'm going to put the title in. I don't think I can type like this, holding the camera. Y'all hold on, let me type it in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I typed this in, Grandma Molasses to Sweet and Smoothie. That's what we'll just call this one. Now I'm going to type a description in down here. And so I'm going to just, see I'm just deleting the word description. And now I'm going to type in a description. So I can't type holding the camera. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got in the title. And in the description box, I just wrote in today's smoothie contains, and then I just showed all that it contains. So this is your little up and down arrow right over here. So we just go down past the ingredients. And I usually just go back and check and make sure I've got everything spelled right and no typing errors. And then at the bottom, I just usually say, thanks for watching and type in my website. Now my website will show up in blue like when y'all watch the video and that'll mean you can click on that and it'll go straight to my website. Okay, so now the next thing is to put in tags. Now tags are there um, because that will make you show up on the search engine. So you want to make your tags the kind of thing that people might type in uh, as a question like uh, how to make a green smoothie, um, how to make almond butter, or you know anything like that. So I'm going to type in a bunch of tags and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I've typed in my tags. But first I wanted to show you, it says click publish to make your video live. And what it's doing is processing. So it's going to take it a little while to process, but I can go ahead and push publish now, but I'm going to wait. Now see, it says my draft has been saved. All right, so I put the tags in. Now one of my, um, uh, let's see, what do you call it, playlist. Wait a minute, I have my finger over the microphone there. I hope y'all could hear that. Anyway, one of the um, playlists on my YouTube channel is called Healthy Green Smoothies. So almost always when I do a green smoothie, I type that in first. That will put it on my playlist on the channel. So uh, they allow you six lines, but no more than six lines. So what I do is just type in what might pertain to the subject of the video how to make a green smoothie and it makes it shorter you know when you uh, 
you have to hit the enter button right down here on your computer. Well, there it is right there. You hit the uh, enter button and, uh, well, there it is right there. Uh, that will, when you type it in, you hit the enter button and then it'll cause it to get in one of these little blocks and that means it took it. So I just type in what might be uh, uh, pertaining to the video I've done. And uh, so then uh, this one says how to make a green smoothie. And you see those three little dots means there's more there. Uh, kale in a smoothie, spinach in a green smoothie, uh, does mature kale cause, and what I typed in there was cause stomach aches. Baby kale versus mature kale is what that one said. Smoothie packets, green smoothies for energy, how to make more, in, how to have more energy, orange juice kills the taste of greens, this one coconut pulp, green energy drink, and then just energy drink. So whatever you can think of that somebody might be typing in uh, on a Google search, then if you put it here and they type in the same thing that you've got, then your video will come up. All right, so now we finish that. And now, um, because I'm a partner, I get to choose my own thumbnail. So if you're not a partner, this won't appear. They, they're going to choose a thumbnail for you, which, believe me, is not good. Uh, I like to choose my own thumbnail. So here's the uh, custom thumbnail. I'm going to click that. And then all of a sudden, my uh, uh, own documents come up. And over here again, it says videos and pictures. But see, it came up automatically the one I wanted anyway. I didn't have to go back to the documents and everything over here because I'm working on it, so it definitely came up. So I'm going to use this one. And it's the pit after I do the video, I take some kind of picture of something so that I can use that as a custom thumbnail. So there it is right there. And all I'm going to do is click on it to open it. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to open it. Now remember, we're still on YouTube. Now see, YouTube put it right there. So when the video gets published, after it's through a uh, processing, this will be the thumbnail. All right, so let's go. And I see here are the other thumbnails they chose right there. And I have the option of setting one of those as my thumbnails. But I get the custom thumbnail over here because I'm a partner. All right, so if I go back up, now you see that? Wait a minute. It says it's 95% through processing. So if I click Publish, now this will be published. Now I don't even use those advanced settings. I have a couple of times but I'm usually in such a hurry I just don't bother with all that. Alright so now it says my draft has been saved and uh, so I'm going to hit publish. Alright so there it says my uploads complete and my video will be published and it tells me where once it's done processing which should happen pretty quick because it's already 95 percent processed and there's my thumbnail all right so youtube that means youtube's already got it i'm trying to make this simple and the the process of uploading to youtube is pretty simple once you know how to do it of course all right so uh sometimes it takes it a little while after it it's there but you see it's still doing that little circle thing what do you call that I don't know it's still processing on the uh, uploading the picture so once this gets back uh, gets through processing we'll be right back should be just a minute or so there's what it looks like all right we'll be back okay as soon as I cut the camera off it published so here it says your video has been published and it tells me where. So now I'm just going to X this out and let's just go look at that video. So we X that out and now we're going to go back to YouTube. So I'm, I'm going through Google. There we got Google. And I'm going to go over here and hit this little icon and then I'm going to hit YouTube.
waiting for it to come up. Now I'm going to go over here and hit my channel. And there's my channel. There's my uh, welcome to my channel that viewers see that are not subscribed yet. So I'm going to go on down and voila, there's my video. There's no views on it yet. It was published, let's see, 48 seconds ago. So there it is. And there's the video I did yesterday and I don't know, four days ago I did that one. And then down here's my playlist and see, Remember, I put healthy green smoothie on my, uh, my tag, so that got it into this group of playlists right here. Okay, so let me turn this around now. Now, I'll tell y'all that, that uh, uh, your camera is probably totally different than mine. Look at my arm all banged up. And, I'm skin up from all the doing, climbing on the ladder and doing all this stuff in here. But anyway, uh, the uh, camera, your camera might be different than mine, but the uploading process is the same. Now, uh, all you have to do is get your video into uh, your computer, and then YouTube will automatically go to your documents and ask you to choose what you want to upload. And then you just click on it and they do the rest and you just have to fill in the title, the description and put in tags and all that. And uh, now if you're not a YouTube partner, you don't get a lot of the options that I get on mine, but uh, if you are a YouTube partner, of course you already know this, right? But, but if you're just starting out and uh, if you want to know how to become a YouTube partner, you need to just type that in Google and uh, it'll take you to the to the website and tell you all about how, how to become a partner. I've been a partner, well, for two years now, I guess. But anyway, all right, so I hope that explains some of it to you. It's not difficult at all. Uh, you just have to click the right button. But the whole thing is that whatever you make a video of on your camera then needs to be loaded onto your computer and then YouTube will automatically go to your documents and it would be either pictures, videos, or something. And uh, anyway, knowing where your, co your uh, computer has stored that, and you just click on it and go there, and then you just click on the video that you want uploaded and open it up, YouTube does the rest. It's pretty simple, really. All right, I hope that helps. We'll see you all next time.